Hey y'all, this is Monday. It is the 29th of April, 2024. I'm gonna do a garden tour here, show you. Well, I did some scouting this morning and my kale and collards were getting ate up with them little green worms, which I squished all of them. I hadn't sprayed anything on any of this this year. And I should have been scouting earlier, but they done wiped out some of them. I'm going to replant. It might still be cool enough. If it's not, I'll just put some else there. Most of my choys, some of them did good. Others didn't. I did not water as much uh, as I am now, which I can really tell a difference. This one did better I have to look back because these tags I don't know if I can read it or not yeah oh good well maybe I should shove them all down in the ground looks like that part <laughs> you could read what was in the ground Wu Choi it's shutters and I think that little white moth is laying eggs didn't look like the Choi's got it as much the Wu Choi I don't think they are the same as the pak choy or the bok choy. They're more like the leaf. I think these are about ready to pick. Yeah, this is the wu choy dark horse. The leeks are looking good. And the walking onions, the Egyptian walking onions, potatoes. They're about ready. I've been picking some and eating them, or pulling them, I should say. I, it's, the ground is so much better this year than it was last year. It was hard to dig last year, and I did these mounds um, different this year, too. I mounded more, you know, up more. And this is a, the area that I had uh, the um, horse manure that I got, you know, from my friend's um, farm. And I had worked it in about six months before I planted in it. See the ones that have fell over over there, my onions. I'm going to pull them. I want to pull this just to show you. I'd like to set up a tripod, but I'm not going to um, right now because I'm busy doing other stuff. But I wanted to go ahead and pull some and just show you how easy it is to harvest these. If I caught that or not, darn it. Well, anyway, you can tell. Get to change hands here. That's the, you know, the one I put in the ground, planted. Now, here's. And yeah, these are the Yukon Gold here. See how beautiful that dirt is. A lot easier to dig. Onions. I've been doing a little at a time and uh, putting them up in the freezer. Well, I've been using a lot of it, but especially the green part. I've been chopping up and been freezing. That's what I've been doing all morning. And just a quick walk through my garlic. Reddish. The beans are really going up good. Look back at the other videos and it tells what kind they are. Cardoons and artichoke. 
I went ahead and added this section of the some wire for these guys on this end down here and I hadn't got my ginger in but that's where it's gonna go right here and uh, that's the tumor uh, galangal and the turmeric I can't hardly see in the camera uh, phone let me make sure this is still running yep these are from last year tomatoes um, the muscadine looking very nicely nice um, I want to redirect some of them vines up over the top here I gotta put some some more supports across the top that other little muscadine right there lemongrass the sun chokes which that the sun chokes are the helianthus tuberosus it's in the sunflower family it's a, got an edible um tuber and a fig tree over there the corn is coming up good and the sugar snaps here yeah I didn't get them in very early I don't know what, how they'll do but we'll see and then my blueberries very nice like I said in some of my other videos that I showed these posts that I put on the ends when I drag the water hose around um, it keeps from pulling into the bed and you know ruining my plantings and I'm gonna run some wire on here for support see these are all rabbit eye blue eye blueberries and this is a the variety you, you can read it if I got it in the camera frame this one is pink lemonade rabbit eye that's lemon balm this one I think I lost the tag on this one when I moved them if you look back at my older videos I started out with them way over there where the um, galangal and all is and I, they just didn't do real well I thought they needed more sun because that's shady for a lot of the day over there now this was another pink lemonade <laughs> and when I moved it this sprouted up in it so I think probably when it was over there that's the con trees right up there um, I think probably a squirrel buried it or anyway I think it's a pecan tree I'm gonna be moving that of course but the pink lemonade must have died and more blueberries this one I think lost its tag too so I don't know, I have to look at my, where I bought them from, Isons. I can look back and see the varieties and probably be able to tell them apart. Maybe not, I don't know, it don't matter really. I'm sure that just tastes good. This in here was the one that was real long on the bottom of this um, that I made. And I come and cut it off. And I just added that into it. Um, originally, when I made these and put the rainbird on it, um, I just did this recently. So uh, I have been, you know, testing them out. And I had made it really long at first because I had to put it in the middle of that bed over there, that one. And I wanted it to reach down toward the end where I didn't have to run the water all the way up into the middle of the garden there. But it didn't spray right, so I just been moving it around and I decided to do that. And I've got one more in the house I gotta make because this doesn't quite reach the other side of this bed. So I've got that post up over there if you can see it or not. Um, where I put where I had put the other one where I will put the other one 
um, I had this one over there and it covers good when it's got both of them running because I'll be putting other crops in here soon um, as soon as I pull the onions and potatoes I'll probably have okra and um, maybe some kind of beans I'm just not sure right now I got so many seeds and I need to start some up at the house oh, see there they're laying their eggs on it <laughs> look at them they're so pretty though I'll just have to keep watch on it and smush the I probably ought to make some tunnels plant some more I think it's getting kind of late for that crop anyway I got some green one greens that are uh, for hot weather so I'll be planting them that's all I'm gonna say right now and thank you for watching and I hope you watch to the end it helps my videos be um, rated higher and thanks for subscribing if you have if you haven't I hope you'll consider it follow along in my journey I'm so feel so fortunate and grateful that I'm retired and I was able to buy this place put these sheds out there really like a big shop like I had down at my other place but um, I'm making that work for now I'm working on the house and just check out my other videos you'll see read my about on you know my channel thanks again see you later next time